I'm so glad you're all here with me today and that we can practice together. Just take this first minute to settle in, whether you're wanting to lie down onto your back in constructive rest position, maybe knees bent, feet on the ground, perhaps a blanket or a towel underneath your head for support if you wish. Otherwise, you can be seated upright on a chair, a block, a cushion, or a blanket. The eyes can close if that feels comfortable for you. But gather your attention, gather your energy, your prana. Sometimes our mind can be in many different places or our energy can be fragmented and spread in many different areas. But feel how your body is right here. That the body can only be in present time. And it can be helpful to consciously gather your attention, consciously gather your prana and bring it to this moment fully inhabiting your body so that all of you is here. In our meditation today, we'll explore how do we embody the quality of being fully grounded in our bodies with an open heart? What's that feel like? So we begin with grounding. Grounding can happen by drawing your attention and your energy fully here. As well as feeling how your body is connected to the earth. How you're supported. How there's stable ground beneath you. Feeling the bones of your body, the solid part of your form. The long bones of your arms, the long bones of the legs. Your spinal column. And feeling how the bones of your body meet the earth whatever part of your body that's meeting the earth. Let that part get more heavy, more rooted, more settled into. And think about what is it like for you to stretch your roots down into the earth? like an old growth tree. I've been taking a lot of walks in nature and noticing the old growth oak trees. And just how incredible they are, but what strength and resiliency they have. So what would it be like for you to embody the roots of an old growth tree? Roots firmly planted on the ground. And how being grounded gives a sense of steadiness, inner stability, resiliency. And when we think about opening the heart, so often, so many people think of opening the chest or even lifting the chest. And in this moment, feel how your chest softens with the exhale. Let the front of the chest be soft and feel the breath moving in the body, ever so subtle yet ever so present. See if you can feel that with each exhale, the chest actually softens downward. That there's no need to actually lift the chest or thrust the chest forward. In fact, Donna Holloman, a great yoga teacher of our time, says that 
Lifting oneself up from the chest is noisy and showing off. So let's just let go of that pattern. Feel the softness of the chest on the exhale. Let your inhale be effortless and natural. Feel the inhale expanding the rib cage and the belly in the front body, side body, and back body in a gentle and natural way. But feel how your chest softens on the exhale. Now, often if we hold tension in the roof of the mouth, there can be a split between our mind and our heart. What we feel in our hearts and what we think in our minds. The roof of the mouth is the doorway or the gate between the two. Is it possible to relax the roof of your mouth and let your palate be spacious? So the palate can act as an opening between your mind and your heart. So there can be a free flow. Your mind can even drop down out of the forehead and into the heart when the palate is spacious. The thinking mind softens as you drop into the heart as the heart is the place of feeling, perceiving, As you let your thinking mind drop out of the forehead, down through the open palate, down into the heart, what would it be like to open the back of your heart? The space right between your two shoulder blades. So if you think about your heart as an energetic sphere, Certainly there is the heart in the front of the body that can be open and spacious. But is it possible to invite the back of the heart to be open and spacious? It's said that the back of the heart represents wisdom and compassion. So it's not that we forget the front of the heart or that the front of the heart is not included, but we so often focus on the front of the heart. So for now, we direct our awareness to what's hidden, what we don't often see or recognize. And we shine the light of awareness there on the back of the heart and let the back of the heart be open and spacious and expansive and embody the wisdom and compassion that is of the back body, of the back of the heart. And from this place of allowing the back of the heart to be open, taking a few moments to feel the potential of being grounded in your body Roots going down into the earth, steady and stable. With an open heart, specifically the back of the heart. And just take a few more, more, few more moments breathing this possibility. Back of the heart open, grounded in body, breathing just this moment. 